Hello, Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. Today, I want to talk to you about a little known procurement idea that works perfect for those of you that have more time than money. <laughs> if you got more time than money, this is where you should be heading out for silent auction procurement. And I say silent auction because what you're going to find on this site is much more geared and driven towards what you would find typically in a silent auction. Before I share that with you, though, I do want to let you know that procurement has been a super hot topic with my consultations with clients right now. Some of these businesses that we've relied on in the past might no longer be in business. In other cases, they're just not at a financial level where they can give us the same amount of a gift that they've given in past years. So because of that, my clients have had a lot of questions about procurement. So to that end, I'm going to be running a procurement class in February. It's going to be about three hours total over the course of two days, February 10th and 11th. I am currently building the registration page for that. Who am I kidding? My team is currently building the registration page for that. I will let you know if you're on my newsletter list, you'll be able to sign up for that because I'll send you out an email. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and sign up. We're going to be covering procurement with a focus on live auctions over silent, but both will be covered, but more live than silent. We'll talk about letters, uh, strategies on site, uh, consignment, and so forth. Full details later, but I'd love to have you as part of that course because I think it's important that more than any year in the last, any subject I should say in the last five years, it's really about procurement this year. So I hope you join us. Let's turn our attention to the topic at hand, which today is really a more avant-garde, something you probably haven't considered as far as procurement goes. And that is to look at your buy nothing sites online. Now your city might not have one, you're gonna have to check, but on Facebook, there are buy nothing groups whereby people will post things that they no longer need and are willing to part with and where people who need stuff will post and ask for help in, in fulfilling some need that they have. There are a couple of, um, a couple of terms that I want to share with you before I show you an example of one of these types of things that you can get. And one of them is what you'll see is PPU or PPO. It means porch pickup. So very often people will post something and say for, uh, PPU, uh, I keep losing my video here for porch pickup only, meaning that you're not even going to have to interact with the person who's giving this item. You just need to go pick it up. In fact, I did that recently with a dog crate. I went over, it was on their porch. I just grabbed it and, and went. Same thing when people are picking up from me, I usually tell them, hey, look at the white plastic chair. It's under that or on that, that sort of thing. The other term that I often see is simmer. So people will say, we're going to let this simmer for a couple of days. And when they mention that word, it means that they're going to see all of the people who said, yes, I'd love to have what you're offering. And they're either going to throw those names into a drawing and see who gets it, or they're going to go ahead and select from among the people who have written something and whomever they want to award their item to, they'll go ahead and give it. So they'll say, well, we'll let this simmer for a couple of days, and then we're going to decide who gets it. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here we have something for a dog basket. It says gift, never opened because I realized after I bought it that it was a total fantasy that this kind of collar would control our dog. Brand new mini crib mattress pad, Dr. Brown's bottle drying rack, stroller bunting, you know, for a baby basket. Still in the box here, never used express pocket sandwich maker. Pick up at 22302. Here we've got a brand new scarf, never worn and super soft. How about food? We've got chocolate or even moon cheese. Can you believe it? Four people were after that moon cheese. Put it in an astronaut basket. We have something for the computer, a full HD webcam. I bought this a few weeks ago. Didn't use it, can't return it, never been used. Let's turn to some lightly used things that might work for your event. Like this is a aromatherapy set, only used once. All the pieces are there, no box. Gifting this air fryer. Look at that, 20 people were after that air fryer. For a coffee basket, I see a lot of those. Here we've got some decor coffee things. And a digital camera deluxe starting kit. Had a couple of people interested in that. Free to anyone with a digital camera. Not bad, right? I mean, there's some stuff on there that you could use. Now, keep in mind, if you were looking at this over the course of six months leading to your auction, you could really get some good things there to round out some of your baskets. So I'm going to leave you with that today. 
If you're looking for some magic in your on-site gala, please go ahead and schedule up an appointment that's at redappleauctions.com and we can talk about your event. Or again, that procurement class coming up in February might be something that speaks to you, you want to get involved with as well. And I would encourage you to sign up as soon as we get the registration page up. As always, hey, good luck to you in your fundraising event.